everyone! Welcome back to the Amber Mine. Today, we're going to be starting, well, continuing an old series, but starting a new one on this channel. Welcome to Jurassic Park San Diego. So for some of you who know my Legacy series over on my old channel, which is just called Thylacine Hunter, you would know that years ago, Probably, I think it was 2018 when I uploaded my very first video on this. I'm not 100% sure on year. But anyway, I have been slowly working on a San Diego project since... So the park, the original map, which here's the map. I've changed it quite a bit, by the way. Uh, was originally made in 2014. I started this in 2015. And I think now it's time to finish it. I'm going to start dedicating more time to creating this. Unfortunately, that's what's caused the last three weeks of no videos. But, you know, we'll see how things play out. Hopefully it doesn't take too much longer between episodes now. Anyway, so I have started the overall grand dream, which was always to recreate a section of San Diego and place this map inside it. And right behind me is the grand entrance to that parking lot that some of you might know about. So I'm going to be removing those old episodes from my ch this new channel, but they are going to stay on my original channel. There, there will be, if you are interested, there will be a link below to those old videos and um, go ahead and watch them if you'd like. Anyway, let's get into this. So there we go. We've got the two towering Brachiosaur, which are going to line the road and the gates into the park. So I'm slowly working on a highway system and actually a section of San Diego over there. This is actually inspired by an actual real life location called Chihula Vista is what I believe it's pronounced. And uh, the idea is that this is where the San Diego Park that you see in the Lost World was actually built. However, we know for a fact that it wasn't actually built there, but just pretend. Anyway, I've got a lot to show you in this episode, so let's get right into it. So the first up on the program is our Carnotaurus Paddock. So this was built by Bob, and it was then, like, plussed by a little YouTuber you might know as the Frog. I'll leave his uh, channel down in the description below. Big thanks to him. He has been a very massive friend of our channel for a long time. And um, he is going to be showing up pretty much in every single build today. And I think next episode is going to include pretty much 100% him. But, uh... <laughs> We've known him for a long time. Let's start showing this area off. So we got this little area. Uh, not sure how safe this fence specifically is going to be, but Bob felt he wanted everybody to be able to get a close-up eye view of the Carnotaurus, not through bars. So we, br we came up with this idea. If any of the residents of the park could be described as terrors, it would be the ones housed in this attic. I'll give you a second. Welcome to the Troodon Attic. So we decided to give it a cave for it to hide out in when it doesn't want to be around the guests. So let's go right into this. I just love this paddock, this way that this cave is all designed and everything. One thing that I love about this shader pack 
is these light rays right here. This was just freshly redone and uh, given a fresh coat of foliage the other day, and I actually recording this like three days later after the rest of the footage, because at the time of the last recording, this wasn't quite done yet, and now it is. This wall's probably going to get updated, but that's when we touch back on Cretaceous America. But this is just looking cool, and I just love the effect that we did with the campfires up there. So they're supposed to be like HVAC, I'm not in a hand the camera up because that would be spoilers for later on in this video. But from down here, they just look like geysers or uh, heat vents. Anyway, let's get on to the next thing. Hey everyone, so I'm joining you in Cretaceous Africa. I was just in Cretaceous America. And let's get right into this. So this wonderful team that we've assembled here at the Amber Mine decided let's tackle one of the continents first. And in doing so, we actually tackled one of the fan favorites of the entire Jurassic franchise, the Spinosaurus. I'm going to give you a quick guest view of this area real quick and then I'm gonna do some cinematic shots I hope that you'll enjoy this I know that you will so let's actually go this way let's continue on before going down further and deeper into the heart of Africa so as some of you may know Spinosaurus is an aquatic dinosaur so that means I'm just gonna go into God mode now uh, that you know, it swims, so mo and it actually would have lived in a swamp, more than likely. And in doing so, if it's a swimmer, it's got to have an underwater viewing area. Let's go. There you go. So there's that. So hopefully you'll, the guests will be able to view the swimming Spinosaurus one of these days. <laughs> you know, one of these days this park will actually have animals in it. But... The Caracodontosaurus, I believe is how you pronounce it. It is one of the other forms of theropod that lived in Africa. I'm not 100% sure where. Bob would be the one to tell you because he's the paleo nerd. Let's just fly right in. So, we got this place. This is like a... Just on the edge of the jungle, I believe that these are supposed to be boab trees, boabab trees that that Eli or Elysius uh, built. And we've got this fun architecture uh, rock formation here. We just feel like this would be a, a you know a fun, good environment for our dinosaurs. I'm not 100% sure on the grass because if I remember correctly, grass wasn't around yet. So I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, this was built by both Eli and Defrog. He's, his name's going to be everywhere here.
So we've got the, the um, Cretaceous Africa building. Inside was supposed to be a Myzacosaurus enclosure, but we decided that that was too small for this tiny dinosaur. So we included one out here as well as another exhibit for the Lesothosaurus. And we used this space to house the Beelzebufo. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a giant African frog. So think like it's actually this, about the size of the Minecraft frog, to be honest. So that's that's going to be fun when we actually get updated to 1.19. Well, by the way, so this was 1.12.2 in the previous Legacy series. We've decided to update this to 1.18.2. So big change. It's part of the reason why I haven't shown the visitor center or the parking lot. Those are getting some massive renovations because of the mod changes. Anyway. Let's go over here. So if you looked on that map, one of the other changes we did was it said that this area was supposed to be the Sukamimus paddock. We decided to flip these two because we wanted the Sukamimus to have a bigger, grander exhibit. And so that would have meant that the Rugops is here. But we decided that we were going to move the Rugops over to the Cretaceous Cruise. So what would go over here? We decided to put in another fan favorite, the Majungasaurus, here. And that's part of the reason I have been assured that that's the reason why it's a desert. Let's hop the... Yeah, the shaders, you gotta love these. Oh my gosh. It's complimentary shaders, I'll give a link down in the description below for it. But these are so cool. I love the light rays. I wish I could show you one of the exhibits that that actually holds on to those light rays really well and shows them off but that's going to be a tease for next episode <laughs> i gotta get defrog finishing the exhibits around it so that i can show that one off so this area this is inside another like thatch dome roof like the visitor center not much over here. However, we've got the big area of the exhibit over here. I love those light rays. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, let's change game modes real quick. Fly around here. I just love the design of this. This was one of the very first things we did, or I did when I started building, because th this team that I put together, they started building before I was even on here. So it, I, I set up the server, I had to go do something, and Spinosaurus was practically done. These guys are crazy. But we've got this real, I really enjoy the Spinos, uh, this, excuse me, Spinosaurid, the Sukamimus. Uh, paddock here. It has got to be one of my favorite ones in the park, even though we've only got eight done, if I remember correctly, at the moment. It's just the elevation changes, the, the swamp here, how it inter uh, guest interaction is going to be. It's just... Ah. <laughs> So this has been Cretaceous Africa. You know, we were only expecting to get the Spinosaurus done and maybe one of these other ones, let alone seven exhibits, you know, because you got to remember the uh, giant frog that you can't see in this picture at the moment. But yeah, we weren't expecting to get this many done. I just love this Amber Mine team that I've assembled. People that I've known for a few years now in the Minecraft community have decided to come on and help me. Not only on this map but also as a channel so um, be looking forward to seeing some of them I might include uh, defrog on the next episode because I believe all of the builds are actually gonna be ones that he contributed with 
I'm almost certain of that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so this episode doesn't get too long. I'm going to end it here. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, Ember Miners. Thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them. Consider leaving a like on this video so we know that you enjoyed it. Leave a comment about content that you would like to see come to this channel, and be sure to check the description for links to our Discord if you would like to talk to the team more directly. Check out our Patreon if you would like to help fund the team and its upcoming projects. Remember, this is a fan group reviewing the depths of our favorite franchise, and that we are in no way affiliated with the groups and companies that own them. Be sure to support Universal Studios and Amblin Entertainment. This has been an Amber Mind production. Thank you for mining with us.